Artificial intelligence has become an integral part in our lives. It is present everywhere, like in workplace, homes, cars, phones and laptops. It is transforming the world with its advancement in technology. As AI technology continues to advance, OpenAI has released a cutting-edge AI tool called ChatGPT. ChatGPT gained 1 million users within 5 days of its release. This revolutionary system has drawn more attention worldwide and most companies are using it to simplify the routine tasks, automate the service requests and increase the customer satisfaction. Let's understand what is ChatGPT, how ChatGPT works, how to use ChatGPT and the limitations of ChatGPT. Conversational Generative Pre-trained Transformer, in short called ChatGPT, is an AI-based advanced language model which understands user question and generates a response accordingly. It uses deep learning and machine learning algorithm to understand user question and provide the responses, allowing users to interact with machines just like they would interact with a human being. GPT is versatile. It can help in writing articles, emails, poetry, essays, fairy tales, cover letters, resume, and also provide you with a food recipe. It can also generate and debug code in different programming languages such as Python, JavaScript, HTML, shell script, and so on. You can also take the help of ChatGPT to understand a piece of code and its functionality. In simple words, ChatGPT provides information which is easy to understand. How ChatGPT does all this? How it works? So let's understand this. ChatGPT uses natural language processing model and it is a variant of GPT-3 model developed by OpenAI. This language model uses deep learning techniques to generate human-like text. It does so by learning the patterns and rules of a language by looking into a massive data set of text such as books, articles and websites. ChatGPT uses this pre-trained knowledge to generate a response when prompted. But ChatGPT also got some limitations. Sometimes the information provided by ChatGPT is not correct or accurate. It provides biased information. ChatGPT does not have multi-party conversations capability. It can interact with one person at a time and it cannot have communication involving more than one person which limits its ability to use it in group discussions. It does not have information about the events which happened after 2021. So in this video, let's see how we can use ChatGPT to simplify the task. Return chat.openai.com If you are accessing ChatGPT for the first time, then you need to sign up. If you already have an account, then you can log into this. Click on sign up and create an account. Provide your Gmail ID. Once it's done, click on continue. ChatGPT will send a verification mail to your email box. Your Gmail ID and uh, verify. Once the verification is complete, you will be able to access the ChatGPT. And this is a dashboard. Uh, and uh, you will be able to see this um, research preview box uh, pop up. Click on next. If you feel like providing any feedback, you can do so. This is the main dashboard page. Here you have examples like what kind of questions you can ask. And it also has the capabilities listed and the limitations. Let's play around with ChatGPT by asking few questions. Here is my first question to ChatGPT. Who are you? As you can see, ChatGPT has given an introduction about what it is. Now let's see how it can help. As I mentioned earlier, ChatGPT can help answering questions on various topics. If you still want to know how ChatGPT works, you can ask yourself and it will provide detailed answers. Now let's move on with asking some generic questions. I want to know what are the top 10 happiest countries in the world. Your ChatGPT provided a list of happiest countries in the world and Finland stands at number 1. You can also get food recipe. ChatGPT can also hack like an interviewer and take your interview. So let's ask ChatGPT to ask few questions on data science topic. Here you can see ChatGPT provided a comprehensive question and answers in detail. If you want ChatGPT to ask you in-depth question, you can also do so. You can ask ChatGPT on various topics and it will provide you answer in a detailed fashion. Let's move on and we'll ask ChatGPT some questions on technical stuff. If you are a developer and want to get some example in TypeScript, you can ask ChatGPT. 
Let me ask ChatGPT to provide me an example of hello world function in TypeScript. As you can see, ChatGPT has provided an example for the same. And if you want to know the detailed explanation about the function, you can again post question to ChatGPT. I want ChatGPT to write a shell script to back up the files which are older than 30 days. Let me ask ChatGPT and see whether it can create a shell script. As you can see, it has uh, created a shell script. You can also take help of ChatGPT to troubleshoot a bug in a code. Paste a piece of code and ask ChatGPT if there is a bug with the code and ChatGPT will provide a response. If you are a tester and if you want to know how to write unit test cases in Java, you can post this question to ChatGPT and you will get a response from ChatGPT. You can take it as a reference to learn how to write a unit test cases. So please remember whatever response you get from ChatGPT cannot be considered as a final. You can just take it as a reference. If you are working on a code, you cannot uh, completely rely on ChatGPT because sometimes the information provided by ChatGPT is not reliable. If you are a DevOps engineer and if you want to know how you can write a Docker file for a .NET application, you can ask ChatGPT. Here ChatGPT created a Docker file for .NET application and it has also provided a detailed explanation for the same. You can use this as an example to build your .NET application. Please ensure that you modify this file according to your application. ChatGPT can also help in writing a resume. I want ChatGPT to create a resume with the following skills. Let's see if it can create a resume. As you can see, ChatGPT has created a sample resume template. So you can use this template to fill out the details. Let's move on. ChatGPT can also create a script for YouTube video. So let's ask ChatGPT to create a script for YouTube video about the importance of preserving wildlife. ChatGPT was able to create a sample script on wildlife. You can use this sample script to create your YouTube video on preserving the wildlife. So take help of ChatGPT to create a blog post. If you are new to blogging and if you want to start with a blog post, you can take help of ChatGPT. Let's ask ChatGPT if it can create a blog post on healthy lifestyle. It's able to create a blog post on healthy lifestyle. You can use this as a sample and add more details into it and create your blog post. Even though ChatGPT helps in many ways, it also got some limitations. So let's ask ChatGPT what are the limitations it got. See, there are several limitations to ChatGPT. Let's test this. I want to know the weather forecast for this week. As you can see from the ChatGPT response, it is not able to predict the current uh, weather forecast for this uh, week. So it has limited knowledge of world and events of the year 2021. It only can only answer whatever events had happened before year 2021. So this is one of the limitations uh, which ChatGPT got. Let me ask this question, why there is a mass decrease in employment opportunities in the year 2023? Here, since I am asking about the events which happened in the year 2023, ChatGPT is unable to answer this question because in its training data, it is having information only about the events which happened until year 2021. It will not be able to predict or answer any of the questions post-2021. ChatGPT is also an AI system and it is trained on data from the internet. Sometimes information provided by ChatGPT or biased. For coding or any critical task, you cannot completely rely on the information the ChatGPT provides. You have to verify it from your hand or take an ex expert advice. So that's all I wanted to say in this video. Thank you all for watching this video. See you again in the next video.